Good evening, everyone. It is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and now I'm going to do an update on a video that I made approximately seven years ago to David Paulson. Now, first of all, I want to ask the people. Now, now before I before I get into this, uh, I wanted to say because uh, I'm going to be talking about this uh, quite a bit. Uh, there was a guy, his name was Frederick Tideman. Frederick Tideman, and I'm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, Frederick Tideman, uh, he actually took an interest in my video. He not only watched the whole thing, but he took an exceptional interest in my video, and I'm glad he responded to me, and although some of the things he initially said sound a little rough, it's okay. He he really made a pretty good response, and I and I had to respond back to him uh, because he made a very intelligent response. He really did, and uh, there were some things that he was not aware of, and there were some things that seven years ago I was not aware of, and I'm aware of them now. And things are quite a bit different today than what what they were when I made this video seven years ago. Now the first thing I want to tell you is this. When I was making videos seven years ago, okay, I want you to focus right at me at this point, I know I have my camera like I do now, and the only reason for that is because I have my laptop right next to it, and I need to read the notes from here. The only reason why, uh, well, the, the, okay, let me back up just a little bit. There were things I wanted you guys to notice. Um, first of all, seven years ago, YouTube was completely different than it is today. It really was. It was a time where anybody said anything, and it was like the Wild West. It really was. Now it's more like Disneyland. So we have to be we have to be more like um, some of these cartoon characters than we are of. Uh, being like we were in the Wild West. So that's why this video is a little more tame than the last one. All right. Secondly, this video was created and uploaded before I had any serious conversations with James Patrick Holding. And through our conversations and through the books that he recommended to, to me to read, I have learned a lot more than what I knew back then. So, my viewpoints have radically changed since I know more than what I did back then. Uh, I still have one critique of David Paulson, but it's not the same as it was when I first made this video. Okay? And I'll explain that a little bit later. But there were some things that I wanted you guys to notice right off the bat before I go into the actual comments themselves. Number one, the video was made seven years ago. So, my viewpoints have definitely changed since then. Secondly, I wanted you guys to notice how few people have actually watched this video. Why is that? I mean, this video has had 295 views. I've had videos that have had over 100,000 views. I'm like, whoa, 100,000? Are you kidding me? You've had videos that have had over 100,000 views and now you have this video that's 295. Do you know why it had only 295 views? Okay. The reason it had only 295 views was because I made the title obscure, I left no description or any tags or anything like that. At the time I made this video, I wanted people to focus on my more educational videos than on this one. This was a direct response to David Pawson. I was kind of hoping he'd reply back. He never did. And so, therefore, it wasn't a part of my original repertoire, which was highly educational videos. Mathematics, speed reading, memory techniques, computer programming, uh, all kinds of computer tech, accounting. Those were the kind of videos I wanted you guys to focus on. That's why I deliberately made the title of the video obscure, just like I'm making the title of this video obscure. This is why I never provided any description of the video until recently. And then on top of all that, I did not, under any circumstances, put any uh, hashtags or any regular tags at all in 
the description or in the whatever the video. I didn't do any of that. In other words, I wanted you guys to take a look at this video after you had learned everything else. Then it'll be okay. So, anyway, I wanted to go through this because I've gotten a few pieces of feedback since then. And that's kind of the reason why I left the video just the way it was. Because I was hoping that someday we'd have a real intellectual conversation. And then, therefore, uh, I could take him step by step through this stuff. I was actually hoping that David Possum would respond and then I could reply back to him specifically. Uh, but I was kind of hoping that people would uh, respond with intelligent responses and then finally I would get back to this. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these responses, all right, uh, were from years and years ago when, they, when the video actually caught up. Now, uh, we have Alan Mendoza that said, you did your hair for this episode. Well, hopefully you're impressed by what I have tonight. Uh, Raymond Donaldson, seven years ago, said, oops. Here's an apparent contradiction. Now, at, at the time, I was cranking out videos like cr crazy. I was trying to show people all kinds of stuff, so I really didn't have the time to go through this particular comment. I wish I had. I uh, probably didn't even notice it, because I was getting a lot of weirdo feedback back then that I'm not getting anymore because of YouTube. Uh, I'm presuming he's talking about... Uh, let's see... I think this was about I think this was about Psalms if I'm reading this right it's Psalms 26.4 do not answer a fool according to his folly or you will also be like him and 26.5 says answer a fool as his folly deserves that he may not be wise in his own eyes I find David Paulson more accurate than most ministers for example in regard to whether Christians are under the tithing law or not most other preachers simply ignore what the Bible teaches on it I've listened to David's preaching for many years. He's one of the few I trust. Okay, that's a good opinion. Um, my response to that is simply that when David Pawson made this video, he fell into the same trap as Mike Winger has done and a lot of other preachers as well. They take their sermons and then... They think that because they're teaching their congregations that, th that they'll get the same responses off of YouTube as they do from their congregations. And this is where they foul up. This is my only critique of David Paulson at this point. When you're presenting your stuff on YouTube that you've already presented to your congregation, now your congregation knows you well. The people like us on YouTube do not. Okay, and some of us have had a lot less experience than you have. And when you do that, what's going to happen is that a bunch of atheists is going to watch your video. And then when you say a statement like, the Psalms and Proverbs are generally true, guess what happens? An atheist says, oh, here's the proof. A minister on YouTube has finally declared that the Bible is only generally true. So that means it's partially false. And they'll run with it. That's a problem. If you don't qualify your statements, you're going to get atheists like that, and they will discredit you and discredit the Bible based on what you said. That's what stung me. So, now that I know that uh, the Psalms and Proverbs... See, the difference between the Psalms and Proverbs is that Psalms and Proverbs were written mostly by Solomon and David. And for those of you who don't know, you need to read the Bible. You'll find out who David and Solomon were. The thing is that they were not taking direct dictation from God the same way as Moses did when he climbed Mount Sinai. Or as, uh, in a manner of speaking from a certain point of view let's let's go with a certain point of view rather than a direct approach but from a certain point of view Jesus was basically giving dictation to the disciples who became apostles 
not in the way you would understand the term, but more like uh, he was planting this stuff into their heads. Then there, in turn, when Jesus was risen from the dead and he went into heaven, they remembered all this stuff. Jesus caused them to remember all this stuff, and they wrote it down in the in the fashion that Jesus uh, persuaded them to remember. Okay, he 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 said Jesus said that I will plant my words in their hearts, and that's exactly what he did. And then, through his power, through the power of the Holy Spirit, they were, um, how should we say? Um, it was like persuaded like a puffer fish. I heard this once. There was a thing about puffer fish. You look up puffer fishes, and you get the idea. All right. Same type of arrangement. Now then, six years ago, somebody wrote me and uh, Bart the no Bart the Anorak wrote me and said, "When ministers contradict scripture, then go ahead and contradict them fearlessly." My point in in doing this video originally was to get people to not listen to something that was going to lead them down a dark path. Especially with uh, people that um, that are atheists. And atheists can lead you right down a dark path with something. They, they say, well, David Paulson says the Bible is generally true. And, and that's, what the, that's what the impression was. Uh, David Paulson was saying that the Bible was generally true. And that's you can't say that. Because if you do, the Bible's true or false. That's how it works. But you have to keep in mind that what is true is what God dictated, not what. Because in Job you have uh, other people in the Book of Job saying things, and believe me, they aren't true at all. Okay, so uh, it was true what these other people were saying, as far as they actually said those words, but what they were saying was wrong. Okay? So let, let me clear that up. What Job did was he wrote down the words that they were saying in the conversation. Those were the words that they uttered, but what they were uttering was not according to God. See what I mean? And you find this with David and Solomon. This was David and Solomon's thoughts, their wisdom, not necessarily God's wisdom. Okay, so that's where you go. But anyway, uh, the first thing I got from this Frederick Tideman, and like I said, initially he came out a little strong, but after a while we got to know each other, and he, he was great. And I'm glad he actually responded, because this is exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if anybody would actually look for this video, watch this video, and give me a response to this video. I wanted to see if they were smart enough to do it. That's why I'm making this update, because after all, we found out somebody is smart enough. And I'm, I'm glad for it. And, and, and he learned a few things about me, and I was able to learn a few things about this. It all worked out just fine. So don't take this initial harshness as what he was, okay? Now, what he actually said was, You literally hastily made this video. This is an example of haste makes waste. How can you not see this? You and your video are a waste. Okay, well, that, that's pretty harsh, but... It's honest, and it really wakes people up. He says, how, how about you look up the meaning of the proverb? How, okay, how about you look up the meaning of a proverb, will you? David Pawson saying that the book of Proverbs is full of things that are generally true and not a promise is not wrong. That is the literal meaning of the word proverb. You need to research more before you start a video and put a foot in your mouth. Okay. Well, when I saw this, I was like, well, this is a pretty intelligent guy. Maybe I should respond back to him, because this, this is good. I'm, I'm looking for this kind of response. And that's pretty intelligent responding. So, what I wrote back was, This reverend and so many others have made a huge mistake. They took the sermons they had preached in their churches and just slapped them on YouTube without adjusting the text to accommodate for their new audience. So many atheists just eat up videos like this because now they can say that David Pawson believes that the Bible itself is generally true. So that means the Bible is corrupted and God is not real. 
what David Paulson should have said, if he's going to slap it up on YouTube, is, the, is as follows. Unlike other books in the Bible, Proverbs is generally true because much of it was written by David as advice to fellow Israelites, which is what I just said in this video. Had he done so, I probably would have researched the etymology of the word Proverbs and agreed with him. Okay, It's the way he said things that caused me to respond the way I did. I didn't realize that he didn't know that a YouTube audience is not the same as his church audience. And he needs to make the adjustment accordingly. That is, if he's still around, and I don't know if he's still around or not. Keep in mind that I've been to several churches, and where is the time that anyone has ever mentioned the origins of Proverbs? This is true. The lack of knowledge led me to make this video. Also keep in mind that I'm not a reverend, nor do I know it all. Hence the name Speed Learner, not Speed Know It All. I may learn things quickly, but I still have much to learn. Which, in that case, he and this same Frederick uh, responded, I'm sorry I got really, really anger. <laughs> uh, needs to work on, on uh, grammar checks a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, with you and called you a waste. David Paulson didn't say the Bible is generally true. I know he didn't say it that way, but that's how an atheist would pick that up. And we have, to, we have to make sure that atheists don't pick that up. Um, the Bible is the word of God of the book of Proverbs from its title is full of Proverbs that are generally true. And that's what David Possum was saying. I agree. I agree now anyway. Uh, not that the Bible is generally true and that Jesus is generally God. Uh, you are taking his words out of context and putting your foot in your mouth while doing so. I hope that you realize he... Uh, again, use... <laughs> <laughs> you might want to check on that grammar check. Uh, oh, I, I see. He he actually did not type that correctly. It was supposed to be that you said things that were very untrue, and the fact that you're that you are teaching these things to other people makes it a lot worse. I'm not going to explain some if the things you were completely wrong in, but I did mention some in some of my comments. I hope you read them to start changing my uh, yada 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 yada. It goes on and on, but. Uh, At this point, um, I told him I was glad that I, he responded. Uh, I wanted to let him know when the video was was put up in the first place. That I want that I had actually talked to James Patrick Holding, and that uh, my views have changed, and in a good way. And uh, the reason I left the video the way it was at the time was to see how many people would actually go to the effort of looking it up, actually watching the whole presentation, and giving me a fair comment. Then a video like this, an update could be actually be made. So like I said, uh, in this particular video, what I'm trying to tell you guys is, although I don't agree with pastors just taking their videos from their congregations and then suddenly le leveling up on YouTube, exposing themselves to being criticized by atheists, uh, what David Pawson said in that video is absolutely true. And he was right and I was wrong. And now, th thanks to my new viewpoint, I can say that. So, uh, I explained this to him. Uh, he said, uh, after that, he said, I thought you still agree with what you said in the video since you've never deleted it. You don't, you don't need to make a new one. Yes, I do, because now I need to show you people that finally... Uh, not only do I agree with David Pawson, but on top of that, um, the the objective now is to get people to watch not only the original video that I did, but now this updated video, uh, so they'll get a better education. And uh, he says, I don't know what you can even talk about if you updated this video, but I hope it's pleasing to the Lord. Well, the thing is, what I'm talking about is getting people better educated. I want them to be more observant. I want them to finally pick up on things and say, boom. I want to see how smart they are. I'm testing them. I'm trying to see if they're smart enough to go on. So that's all I've got to say except for I did get a comment today from Monaco Marino that said, David Pawson is exceptionally a good Bible teacher. Everything he teaches, you look up in Scripture and bang, it hits you. And I replied to this Monica as well, and I said, look, I said, did you notice the description of the video, uh, when it was made, etc., etc., or my purpose in doing so? 
So hopefully you guys got some new information about this. Uh, that's all I've got to say for this particular video. If you guys want to leave me any further comments, please do so. I'd love to hear from you. But this is kind of a good update. And if you have any questions, let me know. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.